Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're gonna talk about the best video compression tool that you can use in Windows 10 or Windows 11 in 2023, and that is Video Proc Converter. We've talked about this software a while back, but it recently received the update to the version 5.5, and this update adds a lot of improvements to the compress tool in the toolbox, allowing users to compress videos to an exact limit by just entering your desired file size or compress ratio. In this month, they also have an Easter special offer, so if you want to get a huge discount for the software, you can check out the links below. But of course, you can download the software, you can try it for free, or you can buy the full version of it if you're interested by getting those Easter special offers. If you may be wondering why a video compression software is useful, well, first of all, storage space. Compressing videos can help you free up a lot of space on your Windows operating system. You can also upload videos faster, and of course, you can get rid of all compatibility problems. And yet again, editing should be faster when you compress certain videos to a certain extent. The main section that we're going to talk about today from Video Proc Converter is the video section where we will be able to compress our videos. So there are a few reasons why you could choose Video Proc Converter as your video compressor. You have a great compression speed. Also output format and quality is very nice and you can save videos in MP4, MKV, MOV and so on. The interface is very intuitive and friendly as you can see. The compression is also very efficient and you have a whole bunch of additional features. So I think this is a great software. We're just gonna go through some of the main features here. So you can add a video, of course, you can add a video folder or music even in this software. And here you have the format below. You can also select certain formats. So for example, the popular formats, video, device, music, and toolbox, where you have the main functions that we're gonna talk about. And mostly we're gonna use the compress function in this video. In the right side, of course, you can see a preview of your video and also some other settings that you can use. Before going into the toolbox and compress section, let's add a few videos. Here, so I'm just gonna add some videos. I added here three videos. There are some small videos, but of course we will still be able to compress them with no issues. And as you can see, in addition to that, you have all kinds of other functions such as effect, watermark, cut, crop, rotate, the same ones that you have here below. Now let's go into the compress tool and we're gonna see here a preview of the video. In the right side, we have the main settings that we wanna use. And of course we can choose the start time and the end time. Maybe we don't want to compress the whole video. We want to compress some parts of the video, we can also have some basic editing tools in this software. So now, as you can see here, we can compress the video how we want. The original file size is 38.66 megabytes. But for example, if we compress it to minimum, we will get eight megabytes and we can leave the resolution as is and also the format to MP4. Let's click on done. And we can change these options for every video that we have here. As you can see, I've changed it for the first and the last one. Let's change it for the middle one, done. And basically I chose the 10% compress option. Now let's change the output folder. I'm, I'm going to click on browse and select desktop, select folder, and then click on run. And it will start to convert my videos. As you can see, a video that is longer will take longer. And a video that is smaller, of course, will take less time to convert. After the conversion process is finished, we will be able to notice that the software will automatically load up the location and we can watch our videos. And of course, when you use a more powerful compression and you reduce the file size a lot, you'll notice that also the video quality will drop. But as you so the software recommends you a 70% compression, which will basically reduce the file size to 70%. And I think that is pretty good. And we're also going to try that and run it. And of course, you can play around with your settings and choose what is best for you because different settings will work better on different videos, different types of videos and so on. Videos with a lot of movement and a lot of bit rate, such as gaming videos, will require a lower compression, of course, because it will decrease the quality quite a lot if you don't do that. You'll notice that in the 70% compression, the quality is pretty much kept and I think that is pretty nice and the software does a great job. Besides that in the toolbox you have D-Shake, D-Noise, Merge, Trim, Split, Rotate, Mirror and Flip, GIF, Snapshot, 3D to 2D, MKV Maker, Fisheye, Export Subtitle. I think these are some useful functions for example D-Shake and D-Noise which are great for GoPros. But the main feature of this video is the compress section which I think has received quite a bit of an improvement in this version and I think it's worth trying it out if you want to compress a video. You're going to have links in the description below where you can get the free trial of this software and you can compress videos for free up to five minutes. I think that is really nice. And also don't forget about the Easter special offers. As a conclusion to this video, I think Video Pro Converter is one of the best, if not the best software that you can use in order to compress your videos. And it has a lot of useful features, not only the compress function. If you enjoyed this video, please 
please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.